Well, welcome back to another roast video. And for those of you who get triggered by this, well, just suck it up and deal with it. <laughs> Fuck you! Today, I am roasting the most disgusting sex toy company in the entirety of the human race. I am even ashamed that I bought from them myself. What the fuck? That was back during my dark ages when the fur bags of the internet and the world corrupted me and turned me into somebody attracted to animals and I have forever regretted that. And I'm still beating myself up for it today. But I've heard rumors that this company is absolute shish when it comes to a few different things. One of which was the fact that I heard that they were racist and transphobic. I don't know if that's true or not, but a lot of people are like that. But the other thing that I heard that I was not happy with is the fact that they use animals to make their products, whether if it's molds or whatever. And I'm like, the products that they sell are already disgusting as it is. I mean, how the fuck do you find animals attractive? They, they, just, they just aren't, okay? I used to be, I used to find, but that is what's so disgusting about the human race is because we just can't keep our dicks in our pants. Um, but yeah, animals are not attractive. Their genitals are definitely not attractive. I mean, some of them look disgusting as fuck and I would never, ever touch that shish. Especially now, after everything that I've seen and experienced of what people do to them, which is absolutely horrendous. But yeah, no, this company is disgusting as hell. And the fact that they, like, not even this company, but there are other companies, Chinese companies, other companies that make sex toys that look like animal genitals, and they sell it all over Amazon, eBay, Etsy, everywhere. It's like, and people review this stuff. They write reviews saying of how it makes them feel. I'm like, that is disgusting. Like, why would you want to use a freaking animal masturbator and find you know an animal's genitals to make you feel good like i'm sorry that is so fucking disgusting it's not even funny dude leave animals the fuck alone please they're not here for your sexual pleasure they're here to exist and god forbid they should be absolutely molested and raped by humans because humans cannot keep their fucking hands to them fucking selves <laughs> It's all thanks to fur bags and everyone. Well, obviously, people have been doing stuff to animals way before fur bags existed. They just turned it into a popular medium for people to do that stuff with. And I'm like, if zoophiles and furries did not exist, the world would be a much better place. That's all I can say. And especially it would be a better place without freaking Bad Dragon and their disgusting mascot. Oh my god, dude. Their mascot is such a slut. He is such a whore. He's a fucking disgusting little dragon slut whore who's, like, not even attractive. I'm sorry. He's just disgusting as shish. All of their characters are disgusting. All of their products are disgusting. Their entire staff is disgusting. All of you who find animals attractive are just fucking disgusting. So please, I just really hope you guys don't exist anymore. Because animals do not deserve to be treated like that. So if you found this video to trigger the shish out of you then please molest the dislike button because we do not give a shish. We don't love humans anymore. We really don't. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me rant about the most disgusting company, most disgusting sex toy company in the world. And to those of you who like this kind of stuff, well, good riddance.